You've heard it time and time again. Teams is your central hub for communication and productivity. Although you've heard it many times, you may not know what that means and how you can use this incredible application to help you achieve more in your workday. Let's take a look at some of the features of Teams that will help you communicate, co-author or collaborate, and work more effectively that you may not have been using yet. Tip one is all about forwarding emails. Conversation and private chats help to reduce the amount of emails cluttering up your inbox. Because Teams offers so many unique ways of communication, soon you'll wonder why you relied so heavily on email in the past. Since Outlook and Teams integrate so well together, you can create or forward emails that will post in the Teams environment for your entire team to view. In Teams, you can navigate to the channel you would like to post the email to. Select the ellipsis and choose Get Email Address. Now you can paste that address into the email and it will populate it to Teams. Here you can have open discussion with your team all about that email. Tip number two is about bookmarking content. Teams uses persistent chat when you're having conversations or chats, which means messages are saving in succession over an indefinite period of time. Some users get a little worried that they won't be able to find important items within their history, but not everyone realizes that you have the ability to flag or save important items from posts, conversations, or chats. When you have an item you would like to mark, hover over that item and select the flag. When you need to review this item, navigate to your profile icon and choose Saved. This will bring up a listing of all of your saved items. Our third tip is going to help you quickly find group chats. When you're having a group chat, you can create a title for that chat to make it easier to find in the future and to help it stand out. Simply click the pencil beside the chat members' names and create a new title. The chat is now searchable within Teams. You can also pin a chat to the top of your chat list for easy access as well. In tip number four, we're going to look at connectors. Connectors can help you or your team remain current and up to date by allowing you access to updated content from the services you use frequently. News, Twitter, Wonderlist, Trello, and Facebook are just a few of the services that you can access through connectors. It will stream this information right into one of your team channels and populate it in your conversation tab. Tip number five, we're going to talk about transcripts. Most people know that Teams has the ability to record a Teams meeting, but not everyone knows that Teams has the capability to transcribe that meeting. When your recording is completed, open the recording in Stream. Go to the Edit option and under Video Language, update it to English, and then select Auto-Generate a Caption File. Now choose Apply. Next time you open the video, you can see the transcript created from the dialog of the meeting. If it does not automatically appear, select Settings, Show Transcript. Currently, you can create transcripts in both English and Spanish. Tip number six is all about adding apps. In each channel, you can add additional tabs that allow you to unlock the full potential of Teams. You can incorporate other applications from Microsoft, such as Planner, Excel, Forms, or OneNote, just to name a few. You can also add applications from outside of Microsoft's lineup of apps, such as Poly to help you create polls within Teams, or MailClark to allow you access to your email's inbox. MailClark allows you to view and reply to emails from your personal or shared email account, which means you don't have to leave the Teams environment to action your emails anymore. Tip number seven is going to help you save some time in Teams. Some people say the key to productivity is in the shortcuts. So here's a list of our favorite commands and shortcuts within Teams. Control E. This will bring your cursor to the search bar, regardless of where you are within the Teams environment. Control G activates the go to function of search so that you can quickly jump into another team. Control N will open a new chat window for you. Move through your different Teams views by choosing Control 1 for activity, Control 2 for chat, 
Control-3 for Teams, Control-4 for Meetings, Control-5 for Calls, and Control-6 for Files. Commands allow you to take specific actions without leaving your current view within Teams. If you navigate to the command bar, you can update your presence by putting a forward slash in your desired state. Type forward slash call, hit tab, and write someone's name to begin a call. Type at symbol and someone's name and then hit tab. You can now send them a quick chat message without navigating outside of your current view within the Teams environment. Do you know Teams is not just for teamwork? When users think about Microsoft Teams, they assume it is only beneficial when working on collaboration items or to complete project work with others. If used effectively, there should be very few reasons why you're leaving the Teams environment to get your work done. Teams brings together all of the Microsoft applications that you would need in your day-to-day -day workflow in one central location. You can create your own private team to manage a special project or a client list. You can also navigate to the Files view to access your OneDrive work files and complete your daily tasks. While working independently, you'll have access to chat with others, join meetings, or make audio or video calls. Working with coworkers is not a requirement for you to use Teams effectively. Thank you for stopping by today. We hope you learned some new and valuable tricks to use with Microsoft Teams. For more information, visit our website listed below and don't hesitate to subscribe. Take care and have a productive day.